What's going on everyone? This is ODC. It's me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the WWE Elite Collection Network Spotlight Big Boss Man action figure. When I initially heard of this Boss Man figure being released, I was really, really excited, but for the wrong reasons. Because I was kind of let down. I was hoping for, since we already got, we pretty much already got this guy before. Um... I was hoping for something a little bit different. I was hoping for an Attitude Era Big Boss Man. I was like, oh, well, maybe since we're getting another Big Boss Man, maybe we'll get an Attitude Era one. No, not what I guess I wanted, which which I would have think would have made the most sense to go with. But I'm pretty happy because I passed on the original Big Boss Man, and this gave me a second shot at getting him. So I'm pretty happy with getting him. Um, I want to say that there might be some differences from the original there probably is and i'm going to look those up so don't worry but i want to take a look at the packaging first um i think it looks pretty good i'm not a big fan of this packaging only for the fact that it tends to just i mean you really you really got to cross your fingers and hope to die stick a needle in your eye that this packaging comes in good shape which actually this Packaging I found at Toys R Us, by the way. I found this guy at Toys R Us because he is everywhere at every Toys R Us. Um, if you order them online, I would be very weary with this new packaging because it tends to fall apart easily, especially over here. The glue doesn't want to stay glued. It's not taped like it should be. It actually is taped here, which is very rare. But... Um, yeah, uh, not too much on the back. It's got a nice picture of uh, Ray Trailer. That's his real name, by the way. Big Boss Man, uh, six foot seven, three hundred thirty pounds. Is his signature move, aka the finisher, is the Boss Man Slam. He's from Cobb County, Georgia. Cobb County, Georgia, Georgia. Saturday night's main event. This is his attire from nineteen eighty nine, May twenty seventh, nineteen eighty nine. In fact, big uh, network highlights. I actually do like these network highlights that they have included on the back. Big Boss Man is number two on WWE's network for eccentric odd jobs episode of WWE Countdown. Okay, I did not know that. I, <laughs> and I do have the network. Uh, big Boss Man defeated his former tag team partner, Akeem, at WrestleMania 6 in less than two minutes. A minute 49 to be exact. Wow, that is shit all over Akeem, huh? Just fu Where's your shovel? Did you fucking bury him enough? A minute 49. And that was your tag team partner at one time. Ah, fucking poor Akeem. Wow. Shit. Anyway, let's get Big Boss Man out of packaging. We'll take a closer look at him and be right back. Okay, and we're back with Big Boss Man out of packaging, and I did a little bit of research. Um, it is pretty much the exact same figure that was released before in Series 14, so it, it, this was just a second chance for you to get him. Um, he did include a little bit more in uh, the Series 14 than we, we have here in the Network Spotlight, um, which, you know, isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, maybe instead of uh, the handcuffs, I would have preferred the ball and chain, which he actually came with a pair of handcuffs, the nightstick, the sunglasses, um, the uh, handcuffs, and the ball and chain. So, uh, and the nightstick. I don't know if I can include the nightstick. I'm having a early stroke, I guess. Um, but... I think that uh, this is still a solid figure. I mean, a lot of people are saying, oh, I'm not getting the big boss man figure. It's just a re-release. But there's a lot of people that missed out on, on those older figures. And I'm glad that with the, um, the Hall of Fame series, and I'm glad that... Uh, that with these network spotlights, we're getting, not only are we getting new figures, but we're getting re-releases. And hopefully down the line, my God, please... Please, Mattel, if anyone from Mattel is watching this, by chance, because I have a small channel, a, a, a fucking a minnow of a channel in a sea of YouTube. Um, if anyone is watching this, please, please re-release a Diesel figure. I don't care what other attire you go with, even if you, it's just a basic re-release of the original. I missed out. I need a Diesel figure. Please, for the love of God, give me a Diesel figure. 
But I, I actually really like this figure. Now that I I have him in hand, I actually really this is a really solid figure. Um, I really like the the unique sculpt to him. I love the um, <laughs> the uh, what was it? His badges here. It says uh, Sheriff's Department right there, which is really cool. Let me just get in there so you guys can see that. It looks really good, really really good. Um, and then we have his badge here, and then badge on the other side, and then we have his uh, some more uh, painted. He's got stars on the sides uh, of his shoulders, and then we have the uh, the belt, the bandolier belt, which would go across here. And this is Big Boss Man right there. We even have some some neck some uh, some neck spots there for some chest hair, which is really cool. Um, I don't think Series 16 had that, to be honest with you. I want to double check real quick. Uh, I think it actually did. I can see it in the photo. I'm just looking at a photo here. Pretty sure that the, 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 no, no. I'm pretty sure that this is, might be the same. As far as I'm looking, it looks like the same head sculpt. Uh, I really like the hair. They did a good job with the hair. So good job to Mattel with that. A uh, little bit of paint markings here, but I actually just scraped them right off. So, cha-ching. Another, another thumbs up there. I really like, I just love unique body sculpts. And that's one thing that Mattel always gives us, is a unique body sculpt. Um, sure, they reuse some bodies and most bodies for that matter, but they always give us something unique down the line. And it's always something good to look forward to. Really got to hand them... Uh, kudos hand them hand them kudos like what am i giving them the kudos bar i don't know um i <laughs> sometimes i just make shit up i don't know what i'm talking about anyways or anyway good lord uh the glasses that he comes with are pretty cool they're the uh aviator glasses pretty cool the nightstick is just a black plastic and then we have a uh, just a regular rubbery type material here for the handcuffs which are actually also included in a, a couple other figures uh, just for one example is the Daniel Bryan Triple H two pack um, uh, the basic two pack battle pack whatever you want to call it uh, the glasses don't fit the best on his face they're a little bit loose so if I mean if you shake them well now it's of course of course now it wouldn't work right of course now they're gonna stay right on his head right two seconds ago I couldn't get him on his head now they stay perfectly <laughs> just my luck <laughs> I try to prove a point and then they they don't fall off so I guess they stay on better than I thought yeah they really don't want to come off so that's pretty good I just wish they hit they fit the fitment was a little bit better on his face it's not the worst in the world um, but every time I look at this, I just think of Adam Bomb. I'm thinking, man, I wish I had an Adam Bomb with some goggles. That would be cool. That would be really cool. Harvey Whippleman down the line, anyone? Hello? This guy wants one. He does hold the nightstick decently. Uh, it's a little bit loose, a little bit too loose for my liking in this hand. And in this hand, for just forget about it, he's got a choke hand pretty, pretty much. So you can't hold diddly poo in that hand. Um, but let's see if he can hold uh, the nightstick this way. Because he does swing it around. So I guess you could get the swing around effect if you wanted to. But he does hold it nicely. You can kind of balance it that way if you want to have him hold it that way. Overall, I think this is a solid figure. I really like it. Um, I actually get, am going to go through his articulation, so bonus for you. Um, his head does uh, swivel full 360 rotation. It does look up a little bit. It does look down eh, a little bit past eye level. Not Nothing too great. It does pivot side to side. Uh, no job turkeys. No turkeys today. His arms go up. They go down. Full 360 rotation. He does have a bicep swivel. A single bend at the elbow. A wrist rotation, a wrist hinge. He does have an ab crunch, which goes forward and back a little bit. Not so much back, so a little bit more so forward. But I really dig that they uh, included the bandolier sculpt here throughout. Um, also included on the back. Uh, it's got a little problem lining up as far as uh, when you move 
the the torso back and forth but I mean I guess that's gonna happen since this thing is gonna have to be on an angle to line up eventually um, it does have a waist swivel where if, holy shit oh watch this break <laughs> Is the weight the waist swivel is there? I can see the cut. Come on, do it. Well, I'm not gonna mess with it now, but I'm pretty sure there is a waist swivel there. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong, or maybe it's just mine that's frozen. Let me know, please. I am. I am not against uh, any help or critique. Um, if if you sit him down like this, he looks a little awkward, like he's about to give birth, but. Um, that's only due to the sculpt of the crotch having to be this way since he's a wider gentleman. You can do the splits though, and uh, Bossman was pretty athletic back then, even being larger when he was in his younger ages. Uh, younger ages? Younger age. Jesus. Upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Uh, his foot goes forward and back. It does have an ankle hinge. Um, it does pivot side to side also. And it does pivot at the foot as well, so you get a good range of motion in the in the uh, the ankle. Really good, really well done there. So, but as far as boss man goes, I'm probably not going to use these. To be honest with you, so you can throw that out. I'll probably have him with his glasses on. And let's see, I'll have him holding his nightstick. Nah, I don't like it that way. Let's probably have him like this. But, I mean, this guy's really available. I mean, if you're looking for a boss man, I mean, you can pretty much go to any Toys R Us, and he's all over the place. Um, so, I mean, there, there's no big issue with availability with this network spotlight boss man. Um, you shouldn't have an issue. And he's a solid figure. Um, so, I really, really like it. I like it actually more than I thought I was going to. Uh, let's check the old Evil Bay. Let's see what they have him going for on Evil Bay. Evil Bay. Let's see. There we go. Checking, checking, searching. Lowest price, buy it now. Uh, Min on card. Whoa, what the hell's going on here? What on earth? Loose. Loose, he's going for 20 bucks? What's going on? 15 is the lowest with all of his, his accessories. For some reason, he's going for $27.99 on eBay. Wow, fuck you, eBay. Earmuffs. But um, <laughs> that's pretty much it for Big Boss Man here. Sorry I spent a little bit more time than I was going to on this Big Boss Man figure, but I actually really like it. I really like the stripe going down these pants, too. Um, I believe the, the line is actually sculpted. Yeah, this is actually sculpted. It's not just a painted line, guys. That's pretty awesome. Uh, what I give? What would I give this figure? Definitely two thumbs up. I like it. A lot of people hate it because, oh, this is a fucking re-release. That's stupid. Earmuffs. But... Um, and yes, I'm saying earmuffs because I'm swearing, in case you're confused. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely two thumbs up. I would recommend it. If you didn't get a chance to, this is a good pickup. Um, solid accessories. Solid looking figure. I, let me know, please, let me know if this waist joint swivels because I think it's supposed to and mine's just frozen solid I'm going to have to run this guy under hot water but that's pretty much it for me let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for watching as always I appreciate everything that you guys do for me and I'll see you guys on the flip side